everybody, before you watch the video, make sure you follow the page, like the video, hope you enjoy. didn't do as a tourist you actually like lived there yeah, for you know stay there stay spend time with Brazilians um, what was this experience for you um, what do you think of like differences as well that you see like between the the gyms and and here so when when I went over to Brazil I stayed with Mateus um, awesome guy we all know Mateus real well yeah. Eduardo has known him since he was four years old for annoying me. Yeah. annoying <laughs> Still so annoying. yeah, he's um, so Mateus, third degree black belt in Brazil, trains at Axe, lives in Bar Tijuca. I went and stayed with him in his uh, his apartment. Uh, so I, I didn't really go as a tourist. I was staying with a friend. He took me everywhere, showed me all the all the real nice beaches, um, not the big ones which you you'd normally think of going to. And yeah, again back to Eduardo's question about the the difference between the gyms. What I what I found is it was more of Jiu Jitsu was more of a lifestyle over there than somewhere somewhere you go for a workout. Like over here you, you it, it seems to be more of a workout. People come five minutes before the class. The schedule, yeah. Schedule, stick ah. the gear on, line up, do the class, go through a few techniques, have a few rolls, and then get changed and go home. <coughs> Um, over in Brazil, there'd be before class, there'd be guys guys sat on the mat laughing and joking, speaking in Portuguese, which obviously I didn't understand. But mm -hmm. go sit with them, you'd have a laugh and a joke. Then everyone would put the geese on. There'd be, I think, my first session there, there was 18 black belts on the mats. Um, I remember because I count, there's a photograph and I counted. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, they were all guys who were either my age or a bit older. Um, from every profession, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's quite a well-off area, Baja Tijuca. That's misconception as well about Jiu-Jitsu, a lot of guys, or like you say, <coughs> oh, would you like to try like a father off for the kids, even though a lot of fathers now train, but uh, I heard a lot, oh, I'm too old for the guys, 30, I'm like, man, this guy's in Brazil, 78, yeah. training, you know what I mean, like this yeah, 30 yeah. year old. Yeah, Xhaka, you know? the old guy, Xhaka with the white hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so when... So yeah, got on the mats, there's 18 black belts there. Everyone just wants to help you. You know, he was a black belt and he stopped training for maybe 10 years. Mm. And then he came back with a white belt and no one knew. <laughs> yeah. And then like one day people just as a, as a to try being like, as a you know, humble, you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. And then people were like, what? And then they gave him obviously the black yeah, belt and he made, man, just the guy, yeah, yeah, he's, he's an amazing guy. He traveled yeah, he the world, man, and uh, yeah. training for a lot of guys, knows a lot of little tricks. Yeah, I, re uh, I remember rolling with uh, him. A lot of yeah. little tricks, man, kind of amazing, eh? Yeah, he's, so yeah, like the, the biggest difference for me is it's more more of a lifestyle, more community, it seems. The culture seems of Jiu-Jitsu Yeah, different. the culture of there, yeah. Mm. And just because I think it's so ingrained into, into a lot of guys over there from being a kid. Mm. And yeah, they're now in the 30s, 40s, they've been a black belt, 5, 15, 20 years. Um, and maybe because they, they ingrained since young age, I just have this insight right now, that's probably, it's much easier for them to, from the beginning, to see this as a game, as mm. a fun and related with that, yeah. everything, communi community yeah. and social as Rather well. Than going for a workout. Like as a big workout, or yeah. oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, a, now it's time to fight, you know what yeah. I mean? I also think that's a cultural thing, like, because, a lot, most Western countries are so safe and they're so like um, politically correct and they're so controlled space in so many as matters. Well, space. More space. No one, no one, uh. no one does this. No one does that. Like, once you now go into a real situation, which is somebody gripping your throat Open. and putting your forearm on your neck and all mm. this stuff, like people are stressed just coming in here. Mm. Just coming into jujitsu is really stressful for people. I don't see the same stress on people's face going and doing jujitsu in. Brazil, in Norway, in da da da, the people are more okay with physical touch. They're more okay with stressful situations. They're more okay with argument and confrontation. 
like I think everything's like so politically correct and so policed and stuff in a lot of Western countries that like when you do something real, it's scary as hell, man. You you actually feel like <gasps> like they feel anxiety coming here, and it's hard to like 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 you're saying I love jiu jitsu. It's hard to love something that causes anxiety in you because you're not used to it. Do you know what I mean? They're not used to stress. They're not used to being uncomfortable. They're not used to like um, experiencing, you know, threat. Like, man, a lot of people in a lot of the countries, they're threatened every day. They get used to being threatened. Mm -hmm. They get used to be like, I have to be careful, watch over there and do this. So just the, they, they're used to a different level of like animosity and, and confrontation and stuff. You, like what we're that doing is... Would, that wouldn't be considered threatful even. Yeah, yeah, yeah in, in, in other countries. So yes. like... You, the baseline of what people are used to in like a threatening anxiety level yeah. in most of the play like people have no under no idea no understanding of the violence and the atrocity that exists in the world from western countries they have no idea it is so safe and so comfortable and when something crazy does happen it's all over the news and that's what everyone sees man this is a every every this happens every day in other countries like the, some some of the most heinous awful shit that it happens in the planet I mean, it happens every day in other countries violence and atrocity and horrible shit we're kind of like protected from that in the west especially in australia like oh that didn't happen or like we avoid it we don't talk about it mm. people don't want to talk about the realities of the world anymore and i and, and look i get that you're trying to be trying to keep everything fun and safe and all that stuff but i think when people experience real things now they can't deal with it dude you know participation awards and all this stuff oh it's all about feeling good about feeling good yeah but now when they go to jiu-jitsu and they get submitted consistently they don't want to go back or whatever because they can't deal with setback do you know what i mean yeah hey guys thanks so much for watching the video um if you haven't yet already make sure you subscribe like and again go and check us out on facebook on instagram like all our platforms Give us a follow at bjj.101 on Instagram and go and check out bjj101.com.au to access the full video library.